I realized earlier that the time for me to get back to this game was long overdue. I apologize for dragging my feet. This may not be official canon, but I believe that the Belmonts learned everything that they know about vampire hunting from the rock band Devo, who taught them when a problem comes along, you must whip it, whip it good. I've been saving this game for one of my shorter streams, just because I kind of worried if I stayed up all night playing this game, I might develop money bags under my eyes. Last time we played, we got transformed into a laundry machine, and given that it's made of steel, I don't think it's unreasonable to expect that logically your defense would greatly increase while you were transformed, but I suppose maybe that's just washful thinking. What is this little guy's favorite vampire-themed video game? Castlevania. I had a rough time with this game last night, my friends, but I'm confident that we can overcome its challenges once I've learned all of the Aladdins and outs. I never think of the classic monsters as being particularly trustworthy or reliable, but Dracula, that's one guy you can always count on. I was thinking, if this game was set in London, Arthur would have a much easier time. He wouldn't have to rescue the princess himself, he could just call the police because they've got a special task for dedicated to handling the undead over there. It's called Scotland Graveyard. I consider myself fairly well versed in Capcom games on the NES, but I do have to admit, my friends, this one is somewhat outside my Ariel of expertise. If I understand correctly, tonight in Banjo-Tooie, we're going to be heading up into the cloud world, which means the stakes have never been higher. And I'm afraid I won't be able to mess around anymore like I usually do. Now it's time to start taking the game much more seriously.